There's a sinkhole next to my neighbor's house, and I think it's eating it. This was a frantic phone call made in Florida, and the house did eventually fall into the sinkhole. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Sinkholes. A sinkhole is basically a hole that is opened up. They can be as small as a few meters or as large as the vast Katara sinkhole west of Cairo, Egypt, which measures 80 kilometers long by 120 kilometers wide. Sinkholes can be scary and destructive. So how do sinkholes form? Most often by water dissolving rock. Water is the great eroder. Many rocks dissolve when exposed to water. Sinkholes are common where the rock below the land surface is either limestone, carbonate rock, salt beds, or any other rock that can be naturally dissolved by groundwater. As the groundwater dissolves the rock, caves and caverns may develop underground. If there is not enough support for the land above the spaces, then the land may collapse on the surface, creating a hole. And if your house is near the hole, it may fall in and attract your neighbors. The map below shows areas of the United States where certain rock types like gypsum, limestone, and dolomite occur. These rocks are easily eroded by the underground water. Florida, Texas, Alabama, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Pennsylvania have conditions favorable for the formation of sinkholes. In Mexico, a sinkhole is called a cenote, and there are over 6,000 different cenotes in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico alone. Many people enjoy swimming in sinkholes. If you'd like to know more about sinkholes, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.